hi soon to be registered public servant. So, another civil service examination review tayo today. At ang topic natin, as you can see, is about number series part 1. At ang pinaka-focus natin is about arithmetic sequence. So, this is going to be a review with me part 15. So, if you haven't watched the first 14 parts of this video, I'll just put the link of those in the description box down below kasi promise, sobrang importante po ng mga yon. So, let's go ahead and get started. But of course, we have to know kung ano yung video outline natin para organize tayo all throughout the video. So, the very first topic na we will be talking about is of course, define what this number series. Pangalawa, what are the different types or sequence in number series? Number three, what is arithmetic sequence? Number four, sample of arithmetic sequence. And lastly, your turn to answer. So, this is exciting kasi uh, dito natin malalaman kung may natutunan ba talaga tayo sa ating topic today. So, make sure to watch this video until the end. <laughs> Alright, so let's start with what is number series. So, by definition, number series is a sequential arrangement of numbers following a certain defined pattern. So, sequential means sunod-sunod. Alright? So, may Tagalog version tayo, syempre. So, number series, ito ay ang pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga numero base sa isang pattern. So, ang sinusunda natin dito ay pattern. So, kung ano ang nakita mong pattern sa kabila, it could be na ganun din yung pattern sa dulong part. ba? Diba? Kung ano yung unang pattern sa unang part, it could be na hindi. Pero minsan, medyo tricky siya. So, we really have to care to be careful in determining it. So, proceed tayo sa different types of number series. So, there are eight types. So, number one is arithmetic sequences, which is yun nga yung binaka-focus natin today. Pero, syempre, if you want to... Let me cover the other types of number series. I can do that naman. Just comment down below kasi sobrang dami talagang lumalabas sa exam na related sa number series. Pangalawa, geometric. Pang tatlo, exponent, two-stage, mixed, alternating, Fibonacci, and combination of sequences types. So, yung Fibonacci, madalas lumabas yan, pati na rin yung geometric. So, yung... Yung next nating pag-uusapan is, of course, we have to define ano yung arithmetic sequence. So, in arithmetic sequence questions, you will find that the difference between the numbers are obtained by adding, subtracting, or performing both operations to the previous term. So, alam na kagad natin kung ano yung pinaka dapat nating tandaan. So, may Tagalog version ulit tayo. So, kapag arithmetic sequence ang pinag-uusapan, ang gagamitin nating fundamental operation sa paghanap ng pattern ng number ay addition or plus sign, subtraction or negative sign, or both. Combination ng plus, minus, or minus and plus. Now, para mas magets natin, magbigay tayo ng example ng arithmetic sequence. So, ganito lang siya. Uh, 6, 14, 22, 30, blank, 46. So, samahan mo ko. You can compute. You can pause this video if you want para malaman mo. So, the choices are A, 35, B, 36, C, 37, D, 38, and E, 39. So, those are the choices and we have to find out kung alin dito yung tamang sigot. Okay? So, now, ganito tayo. Uh, ganito natin sasagutan tong klase ng tanong na to. Usually, ang ginagawa kong technique is ganyan. Pinag-prepare ko yung dalawang mag, unang number, dalawang unang number. Tapos, either i-check ko yung difference nila or pag a ko siya. So, anong nangyari? Paano nagkaroon ng 14 after 6? So, nag-plus 8 siya, ba? So, after nun, matik nun, katabi nun, magpa-plus 8 ako. So, check ko, 14 plus 8, 22, right? 22 plus 8, 30, right? So, 30 plus 8 is 38. Kasi plus 8 siya, ba? So, sorry, medyo ano siya. Ganyan yung sulat ko kasi um, hindi ko matansya yung ano. Ganun siya. So, 38 ang sagot, which is letter D. So, huwag muna tayo mag-assume na letter D, guys. Minsan kasi na-overwhelm tayo na tama yung sagot natin. Check din natin sa kabilang side kung uh, plus 8 din ba para 
para lang ma-make sure na tama yung sagot. So, uh, 38 plus 8 is 46. So, yun na nga, confirm ga natin na 38 yung tamang sagot. So, this time, yung pattern na ginamit natin dito is yung number 8. So, plus 8 plus 8 yung pattern. So, ganun siya. Hindi naman palaging plus 8 yung pattern, ha? It really depends. So, kailangan mabilis tayo kasi pagdating sa ganitong klaseng question, kaya nating sagutan, yes, kaso time consuming to masyado plus may mga times na malalaking number yung ginagamit ng CSC or yeah CSC, so make sure talaga na mag practice so dalawa yung example natin for today, so kung may plus tayong example, meron man tayong negative na example, so negative 11, negative 16, negative 21, negative 26 blank negative 36. So, siguro, nakikita nyo na agad yung tamang sagot. So, negative 27, negative 28, letter C, negative 29, letter D, negative 30, and letter E, negative 31. So, alin nga ba yung tamang sagot? So, same, um, same lang ng usual na technique. Pero, tip ko lang sa inyo, kapag nakita nyo all negative na siya, matik yun, yung sagot dun is negative then right? Pero, kapag ka-alternating siya, negative positive, negative positive, syempre, kung ano yung um, kabaliktara ng sign, ng kabilang ng, halimbawa, negative 26, tapos positive, dapat yung sagot nun, tapos negative. Kapag alternating yon Pero, kapag same, same, same lang ng ano, copy mo lang din. So, good thing, kasi sa choices natin, all negative naman. So, ayun, nilalagay ko na pala yung technique ko dyan. So, negative 5 lang talaga yung mga differences natin. So, mag-add lang tayo ng negative 5. Magiging negative 16 na siya, right? Negative um, 16 plus negative 5. That's negative 21. So, negative, negative, negative 5 lang talaga yung idadagdag natin dyan para makomplete. So, Uh, 26, let's say 26 plus 5 that's 31, so negative 31 yung tamang sagot but of course we have to check then yung other side, 31 plus 5 ba is 36 so yes, that's confirmed na 36 so yan yung ating tamang sagot, 31 which falls sa letter ano letter yan letter E natin siya Uh, tamang sagot. So, kung medyo nalilito kayo pagdating sa mga signs, may video ako about sa integers, guys. So, maybe you can check that out as well. Kasi nakakalito din talaga yung mga signs. <laughs> okay. So, now, test out natin kung gaano tayo kagaling. So, this is your time to shine. At isa lang yung question na nilagay ko kasi masyado ng mahaba yung video. Baka ma-board lang kayo. So, ito yung question. 5, 8, 12, 17, 23, blank, 38. So, yan yung question natin. Ngayon, ito yung choices. A, 26, B, 28, C, 29, D, 30, E, 31. So, you can pause this video if you need more time para alamin. Pero ako, tuloy-tuloy lang natin to. So, 5, 8. So, plus 3 siya, ba? Diba? Para yung, from 5, para maging 8 siya, magdadagdag tayo, plus 3 lang. So, para naging 12? From 8, para naging 12? So, plus 4 yan, di ba? So, 8 plus 4 is 12. Right? Then, parang alam mo na yung pattern eh. Parang, ano siya eh, increasing number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pero, check pa rin natin. So, 12 plus uh, 5 naman tayo. So, 17. So, tama nga, no? 17 nga. So, dito sa kabila, plus 6 naman siguro to. Kasi, 17 plus 6 is going to be 23. So, that's plus 6. Sorry, guys. Hirap na hirap ako sa pag susulat ng mga num numero dito. Sana gets nyo. So, 23 plus 7 to malamang. ba diba? Kasi nga, ano siya? So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 23 plus 7. Ang ilalagay natin sa blank is going to be 30. Pero, syempre, check pa rin natin yung kabilang side kung magmamatch. So, dito kasi plus 7 to. Dapat itong kabila is plus 8, right? So, plus 8 tayo. So, 3 30 plus 8 is going to be 38. So, tama nga ng ating tamang sagot ay 30 po. Okay? So, medyo nag-struggle lang ako dyan sa 8. Sorry na kung hindi maganda yung penmanship natin. So, letter D po ang tamang sagot. Good job kung nasagot mo ng tama. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and see you next time. Bye!